Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today has started off good and bad, unfortunately. Good side, picked up the new uniform. I'm so happy with it. Emblem on the back, We've got black, white, hoodies, t-shirts. I'm so chuffed. I'll show you, the, show you them in a second when we get indoors. Bad news, um, I was sending some E92 rear over fenders to California. They've got to the uh, shipping place and they've said it's too big and the whole lot's been cancelled. Customer's been refunded his money. I haven't been affected, like so I still kept the money. Customers had a refund. They're just gonna destroy the panels, which is really unfortunate because I put extra effort into them and whatnot. But I've been told 150 centimeters is the max length and E92 rear over fenders are simply too long. They're like 180 centimeters. So that's the bad side of today. Well. That was late last night, but I weren't going to talk about that yesterday. Anyway, dead chuffed about the uniform, gutted about the latest eBay transaction. Hopefully the bonnet to Italy is going to be fine because that is within the 150 centimeter spec. We will see. Behind me, we have the wide body. On the roof of the wide body, we have side skirts for the BMW F22. Now these side skirts belong to Richard Grinrod and he owns Fiber Factory. Now some of you who have followed my channel from day one have seen the other molds I've made for Richard. You'll get to see these better later on once I've unstrapped them. But um, these are the last part that I need to mold for him. The reason I haven't done them yet is because he's been in no rush for them so I've wanted to get other stuff out of the way first. So I'm going to get these unstrapped, store them somewhere nice and safe I can't do anything with them just yet I've just got a few more projects to get done and then uh, then I can get on to them today I'm going to be releasing this getting the mold out of here into storage this is going to get its final layers of glass all over and the E36 bonnet is going to get released both halves trimmed thrown back in and uh, yeah, I'll just keep you updated as and when we're going through that. I've got some mess to clear up. I've got some panels to sand. It's going to be another busy day, guys. It's really hot. I don't think I'm going to be keeping this on for too long. It is way hot. Let's have a look at these clothes, shall we? All right, let's have a look at the new uniform then. So these, uh, this is the white t-shirt. So definitely a summertime t-shirt I'm not going to be using these in the workshop I don't think I want to keep these in nice and clean and then we've got the big emblem on the back now I really like these I might change the grey for black in the next ones we'll give them a go because it doesn't quite stand out but I still love it in white let's have a look at so this is the black one as you can see it just stands out much nicer so I think I'm definitely going to have to do a better contrast on the white one. Let's have a look at the emblem on the back. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Let's have a look at the hoodies we got then. I keep seeing the kettle in the side view there. I think I'll have to make a coffee in a minute. <laughs> coffee on a hot day are you mad yes I'm absolutely bonkers yeah and this is this is some really nice material yeah again big emblem but it's, this is really nice material guys and if you want to order any of these <coughs> yourself let's have a look if you want to order any of these yourself, yeah, definitely going to make, definitely going to do black ones next, see what they look like. But if you guys want to order any of this stuff, get in contact and we'll sort prices out. I haven't got them listed up anywhere. But if people are interested, I'll speak to my supplier, who, by the way, big shout out to John and Hannah at JD Motorsport Engineering who are on the same site as my unit, so they're neighbours technically. But big shout out to them for making the clobber for us. So that's JD Motorsport Engineering, make sure you give them guys a follow. Go check them out, loads of Jap stuff there, literally like S-body, S-body heaven in there. I love going in there for a quick visit. Um, and B 
big shout out to Dan Red, who I've recently sponsored with a Nismo bonnet. He came up with the initial design for the emblem. So big shout out to him. And massive shout out to Steve Houston. He's my sticker guy. He owns E46 Kings and E36 Kings. And he's the one who took Dan's original design and vectorized it, made it all you know, spot on and files that I could use to then hence send off send off to John and Hannah to get the clothes done, have stickers done, send off to sponsored drivers so they can have the emblem incorporated in their liveries and whatnot. So very exciting. Uh, the uniform is just yeah, it's a great start to the day. I'm so happy. But that's enough talking. I need to get some work done. Let's get in this guys. Peace. And that is the rear clam with all of its final layers on the main portion of the mold. I'm going to leave this to cure. I will try and green trim it with a Stanley blade if I catch it at the right time, but I got a lot of other stuff on today, so I'm probably going to miss miss the timing on this, but that doesn't matter. That's what a grind is for. So that's curing. We'll get onto that either later or tomorrow. The second E30 rear bumper is now out of the mold. Remember from my last video I said this is an extra heavy one because I'm going to be building a valance onto the bottom of this and I want it to keep its strength properly like that and that's yep that's what I was looking for no twist or flex across the part so that's going to hold its shape lovely these I know you can't see them very well on the black black table but they are the rear skirt attachments. Again, M3 skirt won't fit your M Sport or your SE. It is for the M3, and only if you're starting to cut out your cut your back out and flare it out. You know, who doesn't love modifying their car to the max? Anyway, that's for those who are brave enough to go that wide. And I've now got the F22 wings in from outside. Hopefully I can get on these in the next week or so because I need to get these done. But that's a smart looking skirt. And you can tell how much how much wider the body went on this as well. That's where this is where the original body line would have been. And yeah. Just and nice. this is the next bonnet. Fresh out of its mould. Mould is still looking lovely and clean and shiny. Came out beautifully. As always, I don't tend to have too much problem with the bonnets. With this bonnet, I mean, there's there's this detail, but it's not that much detail. There's not much that's going to hold it in the mould. Um, I can't release this yet, as I still need to fit the M6 threaded metal fixings. So for the lock hoops at the front of the bonnet, and for the hinge attachments. So you've got four along here. So I've just prepped these areas. I'm now going to clean them up. So I've got to bond the metal fixings in, let the bondo go off, sand the bondo smooth enough that I can then get a layer of glass over it so that it's fully secured and there's not going to be any, any chance of them coming loose in the future. And just to prove that that is the second E30 rear bumper, the other one's hiding behind here. So I doubt I'm going to get much more laminating done today as I now have a mountain of trimming and sanding to do yeah so that's what I'm now going to get on with so the metal fixings I use for any of my bonnets and doors and whatnot whether they're M6 or M8 or sometimes even M10 I use these I've got male and female versions and they're called big heads so that's the female version this one has a capped end but you can get them with open ends I actually prefer it with an open end it's just I got these ones because they were cheaper Oh, bye bye. And this is the male one. It has a much bigger base on it, but again, they both oh, they both have perforated bases on them. So <clears throat> I'll use the female ones for the lock hoop points and for these hinge points here. And then at the back, I use the male ones. They'll go through get bonded in because these ones enable you to just fit the bonnet solo nice and easy because the threads obviously poke out the other side 
So I've now got to get all this cleaned up, get all the dust off here, and yeah, get these bonded in, glassed in. Once that's cured, I can then release this from the mold because I don't want to release this from the mold, trim it, chuck it back in and it not quite line up by, you know, a couple of mil. This ensures I get perfect fitment on every single bonnet I do, or door or whatever. So we'll see. I mean, Dan Red was very happy with his one. It fit pucker. I can't wait to see his one painted. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to crack on with this and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And that's the metal fixings all bonded and glassed in. I do apologise that my GoPro is creating a shadow right where I want to show. But yeah, so once these are cured, I'll green trim these frilly bits on the side and then pop it out and get trimming. I've also managed to get this green trim now so I can wait for this to cure properly and then pop all this temporary flange off and start the next portion. Yippee! Right, unfortunately I'm having a really short day today. Um, didn't get here till about two o'clock, I think it was about half two. Had a slow start to the morning, you know, I got stuff I had to do at home. Bath the dog, clean out the guinea pigs. You know. <laughs> so anyway, I had to do a load of fucking housework this morning. Didn't get in till yeah, stupid time. It's now only what nine o'clock. So yeah, we've got too much done unfortunately. Well, we released the bonnet. We've all the metal fixes are in that and that's now green trim, so that's ready to be popped off first thing in the morning. Um what else? First E30 rear bumper. That's now all sanded down. Now I'm gonna chuck this in the car and take that to its new owner. Um, guy called Alex, he lent me he lent me the original bumper that I moulded from. So as payment in return, he gets a wreck for free. That's kind of what I do. If you if I'm looking for a part to mould and you have that part, you lend it to me you can have a wreck for free. So that's kind of how I've been working it for the last few years and it has been working pretty well. Um, yeah, we'll start modifying this one pretty soon as well. So I'm gonna chuck that E30 bumper in the car. We're gonna head off. I've got a few hours of editing to do because I'm still trying to edit the video of um, long drive, long road trip on Monday last week. So I've nearly finished editing that footage, so I wanna get that done. I've got this footage to edit. So I've still got a few hours work at home to do. And then, yeah, I've got to be back here early tomorrow because I've got a new bin turning up, you know, big bin turning up. And I've still got a whole load of sanding, a whole load of grinding to do, and bonding. So, that's going to be it for today, unfortunately. I wish I had more for you today, but it is what it is. I think it's only been like a six hour day, if I'm lucky. Work-wise, like I said, I'm going to go home, do some work on the computer. The missus has been updating the website. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she's having a play around with the website, updating some stuff. But yeah, we're now going to pack up, make a move. We've got some errands to run and uh, I want to get an early night because I've got to be here early in the morning. So. That's gonna do it. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this very short video. Um, don't forget to drop us a like if you like it. And uh, subscribe guys, because I'm gonna have a lot more interesting stuff coming. So uh, I'll catch you in the next one guys. Peace.